welcome to another Bleistift video and today I want to talk again about one of my most expensive fountain pens. Um, as I mentioned before I was lucky enough that I, there was a good offer on so I got it for less than half of what the current new price is. Um, first I had an M-nib. The M-nib was good, the smoothest nib I've ever used but to white I send it back then I had a nib that uh, you know was was wider than nether kind of I explained it in a previous video I send it back a second time and this time I got it back in record time another problem was that it used to skip quite a bit and the skipping definitely got better so quite happy the second time I got it back it didn't skip so much anymore it, it was a quick exchange and now the nib writes uh, nicely. <clears throat> Let me just get a, a paper. Yeah. So only the occasional skip now. Yeah. If you write a few lines uh, you'll notice it but otherwise Otherwise, very nice. But when I got it back, I noticed, you can see it here, I hope, that there's a bit plastic missing. Um, I don't know whether this happened when they, they placed the nib, when they kind of pulled it out. Maybe you pull it out a bit like you pull out a, a you know, a, a la misa fadi nib, that you just hold it here and grab it. Oops. Um, so not sure what exactly happened there. So despite it writing nearly good now, and it would probably fix itself after a while, I'm considering sending it back. <clears throat> Very nice pen, I like the magnetic mechanism, but of course there are other companies, there's uh, Stilform from Hamburg, they had a Kickstarter, <coughs> excuse me, they just completed their second Kickstarter for an aluminium pen with a magnetic cap. Um, one criticism, problem for me, might not be a problem for you, is that the grip section is quite wide, uh, which for me is slightly uncomfortable to hold. Uh, uh, usually something like 9mm is, is good. Um, Eight and a half. That's what's going on today. Yeah, nearly nine, so that's good. Um, if it's too narrow, it can also feel slightly uncomfortable. Eight point two, or near the front. 8.0 uh, or even under 8, you know, this already is a bit too too narrow for me, so yeah, everybody has a different um, taste, but for me something around 9mm grip diameter is best. Smaller or bigger is not so great, so great pen for the occasional note, but if you want to take pages and pages of notes, for me currently, uh, the grip is a bit too wide, but of course, you know, I might get used to it if I use it more often. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm currently considering sending it back again because of this grip of plastic, just because I bought it new. Um, and I thought, yeah, even though I bought it new, even though I got a discount, but that, that was independent of, of, of this issue, I bought it new, I don't think it had this issue. I think I would have noticed. So I think I only got the issue after after I handled it, because when I got it back the second time, I immediately noticed the, the problem. So yeah, just keeping you updated with my current considerations and um, I'll post a video of my new Cult Pens by Kaweco fountain pen very soon. 
Thank you very much for watching and until next time. Goodbye.